Hey everyone, welcome again. In this course or in this lecture, we are going to focus on the Canva plugin. So folks, if you don't know what Canva is, Canva is basically a very great tool which was launched a few years ago. And it's a tool where you can edit videos and pictures and images for free. And I think it's one of the best tools for social media, logos, presentations, all of that. I could say one of the biggest reasons why I'm here right now teaching you guys with such ease and comfort. One of the biggest reasons why whatever I've little done with for my students and whatever I've done in teaching at this age, one of the big credits goes to Canva. So kudos to that. It's a very underrated company and I believe it's going to be a hundred billion dollar company one day for sure. We are going to use the Canva extension or the Canva plugin. Folks, every time I say extension, assume I mean plugin. So the Canva plugin with our chat GPT. So I have already attached the Canva plugin with the chat GPT thing. And I said, create a thumbnail for an AI course and make it cool and crazy, which is a simple prompt. And it used the Canva plugin and it gave me a few examples. For example, this is the first one, the best artificial intelligence websites. Okay. This is the second one, how AI is changing the world of digital marketing. This is the third one, 10 best AI tools for everyone. This is the fourth one, how AI is emphasizing business. Fifth one and blah, 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 it goes on. In the next lecture, I'm going to show you how we are going to go deep into Canva. We are going to give advanced prompts and we are going to guess, get the best of the images from Canva for free. And it's very easy to do that. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to work with the advanced one. So I already have an advanced prompt here made ready in the other tab of a GPT. And I am going to copy this thing and I'm going to paste this thing and I'll make sure that Canva takes this. And folks, one more reason is that when you have the chat GPT plus, you can put in more demands. You can put in more bigger prompts than any other ones. So I'm going to ask you to do it. And maybe it's going to take a little time to do it. Folks, something what happens, sometimes what happens is it just, it's just going to skip the prompt. Okay. So there could be problem because millions of people are accessing this chat GPT four or maybe the GPT in general at the same time. So this, they are going to give me a bunch of samples for this chat GPT Canva thing. And we are going to see how that thing works just like in the previous one. Okay. So it give, gives me one image. Maybe it's going to give me three, four images, for example, and it's going to ask me, and then we can go to and fro with getting the best sample. Whoa, that was nice. That was pretty nice. That was good at least. We are going to get some more and that would be it. And there's one more good one. We can take that as well. Maybe we'll get one or two and that would be it. Okay. So that is also good. So folks, my prompt was something along the lines of this, um, for a future image for Canva, your title should be tomorrow's harmony, a glimpse into the future. And it should be a little futuristic skyscrapers and all of that tech background and all of that. So I think Canva did a pretty good job or GPT-4 did a pretty good job in doing that. Look at this image. Can you make it a little big for you? Give me a moment. Yeah, here we have it. So it's a good image. It's a plain image, but still it's a good image for an AI because the best part is it's pronounced the spelling of the city, right? Which is very difficult to make to do it with an AI. Second one. Second one is here we go. Where is it? Here we have it. Here we have it. This is a Hong Kong thing, which is, I think it's pretty nice for an AI as we have prompted. Second is enjoy every moment. It has skyscrapers. Third one is a bunch of images. It looks like an Instagram snapshot or something. And it's pretty good. It's good. And then we have this one city lights. It's offered the banners and blah, blah, blah. So folks, as you know, now you can actually prompt it in Canva or prompt it in GPT with the help of Canva and you can get your thumbnails or your maybe pictures or AI images, whatever you want, or even your banners for LinkedIn, social media profiles and all of that, just with what you want. And the best part is even the spellings are perfectly all right. So that was it from this one. And I'll see you with the next plugin in the next one. See you there. Thank you.